Hi, I'm Kathy Barker from Software Solutions. In an earlier video, we looked at how we could share a Microsoft project file with others. And it just depended on what they needed to be able to do. If they only need to see the project, then we could use it, use the PDF option. We could save it as a PDF file, and we had various um, tools available to filter. If we need people to edit the project file, then they need Microsoft Project. But if your budget's really tight, you might want to explore some of the utilities out there that I mentioned in the earlier video, or even just Project Online rather than Project Professional. But I mentioned in the earlier video, if you've got Microsoft SharePoint Online as part of your Office suite, then you could actually publish your project file to SharePoint. And then you could use SharePoint to get people to add tasks, update tasks, and that would immediately come back and update your project plan in Microsoft Project. So how do we share this project plan using SharePoint? Well, we go to File and we go to Save As. And why we do that is we can see this option down here. If you have SharePoint, you'll have this option to sync with SharePoint. So I'm going to click this option. I can go to an existing SharePoint site or I can choose a new SharePoint site. So I might choose a new SharePoint site. I give the project a name. I'm just going to call it just the lakes. And what it does is create a subsite address at my SharePoint address. So I'll click Save. Now this does take a little while, but it is actually creating a new SharePoint site called The Lakes, and it is actually creating a task list of all the tasks in your project plan, and it's even checking the resource names, the resources that you have assigned to those tasks, and it's going to try and identify them as people in your organization. If it doesn't recognize a resource, that's okay. You can easily just add that resource to your office group. And so you may want to talk to IT about that. But let's just give it a little moment and let it create the tasks list. So eventually a message pops up and says done. And this is what you see in SharePoint. I'm now sitting in my SharePoint site. I can see the subsite, the lakes, and I actually can see a timeline here of my project. What I then have is the option to add a task and even edit tasks or edit the list. I'm going to start with edit list. If I go into edit list, I'm using SharePoint now to see all the tasks that are in my project plan, when they're actually due, and who's been assigned to these tasks. I can even see that nobody has been assigned to installing a temporary power service. So I might put Software Solutions PC 2 in charge of that particular task. But I might also involve myself, Kathy Barker. And so any people that it recognizes, you'll just be able to start typing their name and assigning them to various tasks. If I need to edit anything, I can simply click on a particular task and just simply start editing it. So you don't need to buy project for every member of the staff who are working on a certain project. You just simply make it that project is published to or synced with SharePoint and use your SharePoint licenses to get people to update and edit tasks. If I want to stop editing, I just click the stop option here and it saves the changes. And so I can see myself and Software Solutions PC2 have been assigned to installing a temporary power service. I can even add a task quite easily just by hitting this option here. And so if I suddenly think of something like I need to um, um, contact B for you dig service and I want to start that on a particular day maybe the 21st and I need to have that done by the 22nd and I'm assigning it to myself Kathy Barker but maybe also SSPC8 and I can show more information if I want to such as give it a description 
If it's already partially happening, I can even say what percentage complete it is. I can then add a predecessor just by choosing it and hitting add, give it a priority, and say whether the task is actually in progress, completed, etc. But I'm just going to save the task. So very easy to edit a task and to add a task, and I can just click stop editing and update my project. So if you have got Microsoft SharePoint and you don't or can't afford to buy a project license for each person who is involved in that project, you can just simply publish it to SharePoint and it will be able to keep the project up to date. So look at the, let's look at that as well. If I dump back to project and I actually hit the save option, it will actually update the project with any changes I just saw myself in SSPC2 appear here and get assigned to installing a temporary power service. Really, really good. Use SharePoint to keep your project plans up to date.